being here in the Paramo um, on this expedition, you know, it's fantastic. It, it makes it real. Some of the work that I'm doing here in Ecuador, I'm hoping will be a few steps along that road so that ICIAN can work with some of the most reputed universities in the world so that the Ecuadorian government can work with the governments of other countries in mega diverse areas so that what is done here in Ecuador has a platform to be translated. Uh, th this is the most wonderful place to, to take those steps. had rain for a few months so everything is brown everything's dry fly over the Pacific to, to Ecuador and everything everything's wet it's, it's amazing there's, there's life growing on life growing on life everywhere so Graham these are some of the pictures you took today that's right oh, wow. this that's I am amazing. so excited about so it's a type of grasshopper uh, yeah. that Catty did it's a unicorn cat he did, yeah. for obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, there are only about 15 different species of unicorn cat he did, and none of them are like this. I never saw with these uh, white spots in the, in the front. Now, this guy really excites me. He's obviously a paper wasp, um, because he's on his paper wasp yeah, Look at the, the, the definition. Uh, that's the, that's the, right, the, yes. The wasps are very photogenic. They uh, really it's are, really yes. nice for It is for absolute, It's absolutely a specific genus of wasp, because you can see here his claws are asymmetrical. Yeah. One side is small, the other side is big. That means he has to be a specific genus. And yet, um, you have a look properly, his front legs are really small, they're vestigial.